Welcome back to the CWK Logo History Show. Last time we looked at Lionsgate Films, the film distribution company that revived Vestron Video in 2016. Today we're going to do a YouTube type station that was brought on by the success of another YouTube TV station. What YouTube channel is this? We're about to find out today on the CWK Enterprises Logo History Show. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me. From town to town, from London to Taiwan, I've been all around the globe trying to protect you. Today we're doing KDAC Channel 39 Seattle. April 24th, 2020 is the day it all began when Eric introduced the TV19 brand to his channel, which was only used for one video. However, seeing the success of WTBL Channel 12 Rochester, Eric settled up the KDAC channel as KDAC TV Channel 19 Seattle and Spokane. However, it took a while for it to get on the air, with it officially going on the air on May 18, 2020. It only got four broadcasts, with number three having to be split into two. Then, on, Janu on July 7, 2020, I uploaded a video to the KDAC YouTube channel and announced the closure of that channel. The next day, Eric launched the Dacton Broadcasting Network. The next step for him was a TV network like the Nancer Metropolitan Broadcasting System. It went off the air briefly in July after the PBS episode of 647 Logo, before returning in August and even getting WTTS on board. However, after Eric left Nancer Metro JP Inc., WTTS was given the new Alden Cameron Public Television and the rest of DVN's assets were absorbed into the new KDAC. On September 5th, 2020, the new KDAC launched on Channel 39, only in Western Washington as an affiliate of Alden Cameron Public Television. After Alden Cameron broke up on September 7th, Alden rebranded ACPT as Alden Public Television Network, and that brings us to the current logo. And even watching the sister station, KSEA Channel 50, Telcoma. Eric created a parent for KDAC, KDAC Public Media. That is a ton of history that we went through, so let's get to the logos. Just to let you know, we were, are including Dacton Broadcasting Network in this logo history just because it was a part of the history up till now. This is the first KDAC logo used only on April 24th. Um, what the heck was that? Anyways, if that wasn't cool enough, wait until we get to our next logos, the orange clouds. These logos were used from May 18th 2020 to July 7, 2020. Please note that this one, at least the station ID, was the one that I used for the WGNM logo when I was a, um, when it was a television network of NMBS. There are two versions. The first one is the station ID, and the second one is a program ID. Thank you. 
This one was amazing, even for when KDAC was on the air. Sadly, KDAC TV channel 19 Seattle and Spokane shut down on July 7th with the launch of DBN. We got this logo used only on July 8th. Sadly, the logo's lost, but the next one isn't. It's the DBN MC PB used from July 9th to August 24th. This is alright. Kind of a downgrade from the last logo. Like I said, WTTS was given to ACPT and DBM was folded into the new KDAC. Which brings us to our next logo, the KDAC Mountains. This logo was used from September 5th to October 7th of 2020. There is a standard version plus versions used for the broadcasts of uh, 1 through 3 on the new channel, including funding credits for the KDAC News closing logos from the third broadcast. We are only going to play the... Um, first standard version. We're not going to play the broadcast openings. The last one is the KDAC program ID, used from September 5th, 2020 to October 7th. This one is the standard version, and the other we will not play because it was used in the final version of the program ID. This logo is good. Fun fact though, Eric did not make this one. And with that out of the way, I can end this episode of my Logo History Show. I hope you enjoyed this episode as I enjoyed making it. I'll see you in the next episode. Hey guys, my name is Eric Datton. And thanks for watching this final episode of CWK Logo Histories. Anyways, um, well, this is not the last Logo History he's doing. He's stopping our Logo History production for now. Uh, so, we don't know what the future of the show will be like, what will happen when it returns in 2021. So, if you want to know something, is that he did not write this episode of CWK Logo Histories Episode 8 KDAC I did it's just so I can give him the most accurate information as possible it's so I don't want any misconceptions of the history like KDAC actually started April 28th 2020 when it really started on April 24th and the station didn't officially launch until May 18th hold on a second there Okay, and all honestly, it was a blast, well, for him to make this episode, and I was, and since I wrote it, I had a little bit helping hand, so, and as the um, founder, creator, pretty much owner, and CEO of KDHC Public Media, um, I really want to say, go watch my, go watch the broadcasts, all all the old broadcasts are archived on the KDAC channel. The DBN ones have been privated only because that's not the WTTS channel. I really don't want to interfere with TTS 210 stuff. I don't want to interfere with that stuff. Really, in all honesty, it was fun making these broadcasts and really fun in doing TV 19 and eventually KDAC. In the first place, I started it was a passion project. Just kidding. I originally looked at TV 12, be like, okay, that works. And then just created it. But then I saw WTVL. It was like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. And then created a WTVL. Like, Inspire Channel, which launched actually four days after KD, after WTVL shut down. Wow. Before then, we got WJDN. Created by Jonathan Nichols, the one who made this episode. 
So, anyways, thanks for watching. I'm Aero Dacton, this one of the one of the um executives, founders, owner, and CEO of the Whiskey Dacton Corporation, and founder, CEO, president, executive, and 25% owner of that to the entertainment. And I want to say good night and see you next year. Well, for logo histories. You can still catch me on my channel, Dat to Entertainment, and you can still catch this channel. John's gonna do a new show for KSCA show review. So thanks for watching and good night. Bye bye. Walking the lonely streets are empty The only thing I can see is my own silhouette I'm getting stronger, step by step The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me I've been flying from town to town